guys, more new additions. <laughs> um, yeah, I got these today off a guy called Gary McGowan. He's a good bloke. Uh, I'll show you what I got. Alright, this is my. Um, well, you'll see in a sec. Oh, if I can get the lid off. There we go. This is a male B. Smithy. Uh, hopefully, a future breeding project project when he matures that would be good um, I also got let's put the lid on him a sec I will be doing a rehouse in this video so stay tuned I also got finally got a female agenic I've been after one for absolutely ages she's absolutely gorgeous I love her colours Got a bit of a bald bum as she's been she's been in this tub all day today because I went and collected them in person and I was at my mum's all day so I hadn't had a chance to uh, house them. I've not long got back. So she has been flicking a bit due to stress. But hopefully she's going to enjoy a new home. Um, she will be going in this one that my other agenic's in as he's, well, he or she is quite smaller than... The female, the sex, well, sex female, they could both be female, I don't know. But this one, is, uh, this is where it gets, conf well, it's confusing for me as I'm a bit simple. But uh, the beast, the agenic that's going in there, is going in here. The juvie male bee smithy is going in here. Um, and then she is going in that bigger one. Just because there's more space for her to move around, I can't exactly put her in one of these, like, and I can't put that of the other day, Jenny, in one of these, as he's a bit too big. But this should be all right for him for a while. Uh, you've got little feeding vents. I've I've already got a tank like this with my uh, G Rosea, no, uh, G Portery, sorry. That's Morticia. Actually features in most of my videos. Um, but yeah, you got a little feeding hole there. You've Got one on the side as well. Uh, good little tanks. Don't know where you buy them from. I've just got them with the spiders. So uh, if you bear with me, I'll just go to the bathroom and I'll do some rehousing. Right, we're all ready for some rehousing. Got my trusty paintbrush. Uh, first, I'm going to add some substrate into this. Um, hopefully I can do it one-handed. I only need a handful for tubs like this. Well, I do like these tubs. They're good for the uh, juvies and dwarf adult species. Uh, that is a bit damp, but it should dry out. It's not too damp, like, well, it's not too wet, like, it should dry out. I mean, there's plenty of ventilation there, so. Sorry, my camera don't want to focus. There we go. Yeah, plenty of air holes there, so it should dry out. Uh, right then, the male's going in here. So I'll just, male bee smithy, sorry. Um, I'll just get the lid off. Right, so I'm gonna put the tub in his enclosure. As I'm doing it one-handed, it's quite hard to do it one-handed. So I'll just gently just go a little bit. Oh, he's quite skittish. Come on, little one. Come on. There we go. Oh, yep. Go on. I will sort him a hide. And so I've got a couple of plant pots that I can cut up. He should be alright in that for like one malt. Uh, maybe could do with a bigger, but for now it should do him. Um, let's just put the lid on that. Oh, sorry, mate. Watch your legs. Watch your legs. Come on. I'll just get the brush to move his leg out of the way. There we go. Yeah, as I say, I will put a hide in there, but this way, this is only a 
temporary house. Uh, move your legs, mate. Come on. There we go. That's him done. Right, I'll go and put him back on the shelf and I'll be back in a minute. Right, now this one can be a bit funny. It's not, I wouldn't say it's aggressive, I'd just say it's got a brilliant feeding response. So I've just got to make her, him or her aware that I'm prodding about, as I don't want my stick chomped. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> that even made me jump. But yeah, he's aware that I'm about, he or she. Uh, that's a kind of fret posture, they put their bum in the air. But uh, let's get him in. He should be alright. Um, I don't know the best way to do this. I don't know whether it's... Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to coax him up the side and down into here. He should be alright in that for a while. Come on, then, little dude. No, you don't want to bite the brush. Sorry, I can't get him, him in view. Come on, then. Come on, then. Oh, he's flicking. Come on, then. Yes, I know you flick. You're a flicky little sod. <laughs> right, I'll just get him up. Come on. He's getting quite stressed. So I want to be as quick... Oh, well, I want, I want to be as quick as possible, but I don't want to stress him too much. So I'm just going to coax him up. I don't know, him, her, I don't know. I'm guess, I've been told it looks male. Um, I don't go by ventral sex symbol. I thought I'd give it a... Sh well, I thought I'd ask people's opinions as I'm really uh, desperate to know the sex of this one because... I love this species, but um, no, go on, go up, go up, go up, there we go, there we go, and into your new home, yeah, that's perfect for him, or her, <laughs> as it keeps, I'm just going to go with him for now, but yeah, he'd, he'd be alright in there, uh, just put the lid on, right, that lid on. I'm gonna have to change the label as it says B Smithy. Oh, I'm gonna, I don't want him too close to the edge. I've got a thing with worrying about trapping their legs. Oh gosh, I can't get hold. There we go. Right, I just want you to move over there, little chap. Yeah, as I say, if he is a male, expect a breeding program in the future with. This and my female. Uh, yeah, he should be fine in there. That'll do him. Yeah, that's be Smithy on set. So I'm going to change that. Put a little label down here. And now all I have to do, right? Because she's so big, I'm gonna tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna find a big plant pot. And take this out as she probably can't get under it, so she's got nowhere to hide. But yeah, just put that on its side like that. And gently coax her out. Yes, I know you can flick as well. That's the thing with hygienics, they're really flicky. But uh, go on, you gorgeous girl. Isn't she beautiful? Wow, I'm loving them colours. I know they call it a giant whitening and the camera don't really pick it up well, but they're quite peachy coloured. There we go. I'm just going to catch a picture of her. There we go. Right, that's it then, guys. That's all them rehouse. As I said, be smithy male. It's only temporary. I'll find him somewhere bigger. But yeah, thanks for watching.